RS-82 and RS-132 Reactivny Snaryad, Russian, Reactivny Snaryad rocket-powered projectile were unguided rockets used by Soviet military aircraft in World War II. Topic. Development Design work on RS-82 and RS-132 rockets began in the early 1930s, by a team led by Georgi Langdamak, and including Vladimir Artemiev, Boris Petropavlovsky, Yuri Pobedonostsev, and others. The 82mm and 132mm diameters were chosen because the standard smokeless gunpowder charge used at the time was 24mm in, in diameter and seven of these charges fitted into an 82mm cylinder. First test firing was done in November 1929. In 1937, aerodynamically efficient Ro-82 rail launchers were designed for mounting these weapons on aircraft. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operational history. Following the pioneering use of Le Priour rockets in the use of air-launched rocket armament in World War I, done since 1916 on the Western Front, and that had been first done for the Central Powers in WWI by Rudolf Nebel from Halberstadt D-2 biplanes of the Luftstreitkraft during the first half of 1916, the earliest known use by the Soviet Air Force of aircraft launched unguided anti-aircraft rockets in combat against heavier-than-air aircraft took place in August 1939 during the Battle of Kalkan Gol. A group of Polykarpov I-16 fighters under command of Captain N. Svonarev were using RS-82 rockets against Japanese aircraft, shooting down 16 fighters and three bombers in total. Six Tupolev SB bombers also used RS-132 for ground attack during the Winter War. RS-82 officially entered service in 1937 and RS-132 in 1938. Like most unguided rockets, RS suffered from poor accuracy. Early testing demonstrated that, when fired from 500 meters 1,640 feet, a mere 1.1% 1 .1 of 186 fired RS-82 hit a single tank and 3.7% hit a column of tanks. RS-132 accuracy was even worse, with no hits scored in 134 firings during one test. Combat accuracy was even worse, since the rockets were typically fired from even greater distances. To further complicate the matters, RS-82 required a direct hit to disable light German armor, with near misses causing no damage. RS-132 could defeat medium German armor with a direct hit but caused almost no damage to light or medium armor with a near miss. Best results were usually attained when firing in salvos against large ground targets. Almost every Soviet military aircraft of World War II was known to carry RS-82 and RS-132, often using field-made launchers. Some Aleutian Eel II were field modified to carry up to 24 rockets although the added drag and the weight made this arrangement impractical. RS-derived M-8 and M-13 rockets were used by the famous Katyusha rocket artillery. Variants <inaudible> 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 RS-82 and RS-132 earlier high-explosive warhead he frag. RBS-82 and RBS-132 armor-piercing warhead APHE. ROFS-82 and ROFS-132 later high-explosive warhead he frag. M8 improved RS-82 with a much larger warhead 0.64 kg 1.4 pounds of explosives and rocket motor for BM-8 Katyusha. M13 improved RS-132 with a much larger warhead 4.9 kg 10.8 pounds of explosives and rocket motor for BM-13 Katyusha. Topic Specifications RS-82 
Body diameter 82 mm 3.2 in Wingspan 200 mm 8 in Length 600 mm 24 in Weight 6.8 kg 15 pounds Explosive weight 0.36 kg 0.8 pounds Fragmentation radius 7 meters 23 feet Maximum speed 340 meters per second 1115 feet per second Range 6.2 kilometers 3 9 miles Spread 16 angular mil Topic Specifications RS132 Body diameter 132 mm 5.2 in Wingspan 300 mm 11 in Length 845 mm 33 in Weight 23.0 kg 50 pounds Explosive weight 0.9 kg 2 pounds Fragmentation radius 10 m 33 feet Maximum speed 350 meters per second, 1,150 feet per second. Range 7.1 kilometers, 4. 4 miles. Spread 16 angular mil. Topic. See also. High velocity aircraft rocket. List of aircraft weapons RP-3 British 3-inch rocket, known as 60 pounds. <laughs>